26. I'm Abigail Blackrick. Today, I'm speaking to the city manager of Boyne City, Mike Kane, about their plans to revamp the historic clock tower. Mike, can you tell us a little bit about the history of the Boyne City clock tower? The clock first came to Boyne City in about 1904, 1905, and it was historically located right downtown near the railroad at the intersection of Park and uh, Ray Streets. And basically, it stayed in that location until about the 1950s or 1960s. We're not exactly sure when, when the clock tower itself became so unsafe and the clock at that time became unreliable that the uh, council at that time uh, decided to take it down. And so since then, there have been some community involvements of trying to get it revamped, but this is the first one that's really gone full-fledged and came this close to it being completed. Yes, we're looking at a real permanent home for the clock tower going forward. It had a temporary one uh, around the time of the nation's bicentennial in 1976, where a local person who had bought the clock in the late 50s or 60s, whenever it came down, uh, William Porter uh, from East Jordan, he took it home, fixed it up, and uh, associated with one of our local banks here at the intersection of Lake and River Streets. And it stayed there for a few years. It was in a stainless steel tower, uh, but it became unreliable then as well. It came down and basically has been in the home of our, uh, the garage of our former police chief, John Tallboys, ever since then until this last year where he returned it back to the city. And now it's all in the preps to be returned to the city in its full honor. So here are some of the plans. Can you tell us a little bit about the vision that you have for its coming back to the city? Well, it's real exciting. As part of the city facilities project that the voters approved here last May, plans were coming together about building a brand new city facilities that have a real strong historic impact in our community as well too. It's going to house a lot of uh, functions here, but one of our main functions that it'll house will be our city museum. It'll also be housing our historic 1917 La France fire truck, which will have a great display for so the community can enjoy that and view it all year round. And as we looked at a clock tower was always part of the project, but as we looked at the historic photographs of what the clock tower was originally in our community and uh, how all the project fit together, it just kind of evolved and we went to a design that really is reminiscent of what was originally here back in the early 1900s. That's great. And Mike, back in the 1900s and from then on, like we said, it's been such a community symbol. Can you tell me why it's so historic here in Boyne City? Well, people heard it chiming. I mean, everybody didn't have a cell phone that they could look at or watches or things of that nature. It was a community calling symbol. It chimed on a regular basis, uh, 24-7. It would call people. Uh, you know, It was a, a hub of, its location was a hub of community activity in the fire hall at that time. So a lot of community pride and sentiment to it. And over the years, uh, once the clock tower came down, and even when, after it was in the uh, bank building and it failed there, there were efforts to resurrect it in locations in the downtown. It's in many of our plans. It's always been a real touchstone with Boyne City's past. And as we've become a Main Street community, incorporating our past into our future has been really a key element of us going forward. And this just all seemed to come together with our historic complex or, or components we're going to have in the City mm -hmm. Hall. Uh, with the La France there, the clock tower, it all just came together. And then we had a study done uh, this, uh, this f last fall where we brought experts from Maine to examine the clock to say, we've got some ideas, how much of this is really feasible? Right. You know, is it a viable option? Is the clock going to be reliable and something that, you know, is worth investing into? They came in and assessed the clock, spent time educating us as staff, the public, and our commission as to you know, the history of the clock and how it can be basically restored into a very accurate uh, timepiece going forward. So that really got the energy going. It really seemed to create a lot of enthusiasm enthusiasm about this mm -hmm. project. And so we're going forward with it. Uh, it's being proposed as part of our budget going forward in the next fiscal year, which starts for us May 1st. And at our city commission meeting, that'll be taking place uh, coming up here. Uh, the city commission will be acting on a recommendation to actually go forward and authorize the Balzer Family Clockworks in Maine to uh, restore our clock. The goal is, we're in the next 14 months, we're going to be starting, or we're going to be building a brand new city facilities project. That'll start about May 2nd, and we're hoping that'll come to fruition, basically be completed in July, right around the 4th of July in 2017. And we're hoping that the clock will be able to chime in uh, that ceremony as, as part of the community celebration at that time.
That's so exciting. So thank you so much for joining me today, Mike, and all the hard work you've put into this project. Well, it's very exciting. I think it's a great community effort, and we're looking forward to hopefully a a great celebration and hopefully having you back here in July of 2017. Absolutely. I'll look forward to that. In Boyne City, I'm Abigail Blackrick with My News 26.